Talking Sex Live with Chet and Diane is recorded in front of a live audience. This show is for mature audiences only. Hello, everybody. You're Talking Sex Live with Chet. And I'm Diane. And as always, uh, we're joined by our good producer, Wells. And uh, before we go over Wells, we're just going to explain that we are unlicensed sex therapists. We don't have any types of degrees in mm-hmm. sex therapy. We're just a couple who's had a whole a lot, lot of, of sex. sex. And we want to share our knowledge and our experience to people who call in. So, how are you doing tonight there, Wells? I'm all right. How yeah. are you guys doing? <laughs> all right. I'm trying to stay cool. Yeah, it's, it's a me. hot night tonight. Mm-hmm. Are, you staying, uh, are you staying cool there, Wells? It is hot. I am uh, just cuddled next to my portable AC, which is straining to meet the demand of this extreme heat. Right. Um, is, has there been any, I know we ask this every single show, but how's, how's the dating life going in quarantine there, Wells? Did you ever hook up well, with that one chick? I, uh, no. No, the girl with bad teeth. Uh, yeah. She ghosted me. Oh, no. uh, there was another girl who's a dietitian <laughs> mm. who I made plans with, also ghosted. Mm. Uh, went out with this really nerdy girl, um, and I feel like something might have happened there if uh, if we weren't in masks the whole time, just walking aimlessly through Culver City. Oh. Uh, but nothing ended up with that. And, and then there's one girl that I've been I was sort of texting romantically sexually with but i don't know the whole covid thing just kind of throws everything up in the air yeah it does i mean if you wear a mask and a condom what's the problem and you do doggy style yeah i don't see don't ever breathe on each other well i mean that's a lot but then you also have to take into account the aerosols that can stay in the air and infect you so yeah and i mean that's is that really that pleasant of experience having sex with someone you don't know that well with a mask on doggy style not looking at them yeah Yeah. i guess it just comes up to like how like desperate you are i don't know i feel like there's a lot of really lonely people right now and Mm -hmm. they just kind of need some type of release um but i I mean there are a lot of really lonely people right now to each its own i I guess i have a friend who's 80 and just got a new girlfriend so yeah he's getting late at 80 so why not it's just I guess right now... Well, he's probably like, fuck it, I don't care. Exactly. Well, yeah, an 80. That virus is pretty much genetically programmed to take out people his age group. So (laughs) he's probably like, I'm leaving anyway. I might as well have some sex. Yeah. Yeah. I I feel like you have to be... Like, if you're at the point of being super lonely, just being like, you know what? I'm just going to talk to someone online, and then we're just going to go ahead and move in together, I guess? I don't know. I that's like that's a jump. But, I mean, if you're yeah. really that lonely, it's right? like, it's yeah, just... we're, we're going to just make that leap. We're going to get to know each Why other. Not? Sink really, or swim. Yeah, really well online and just fall in love with each other, and then we're just going to go right into move in. So it's just, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. That seems like the... The natural progression right now. That's just whole... unhealthy. It, it is. But, you know, it's yeah. like you get tested, you live together, and if it doesn't work out, you're just like, hey, we gave this a shot, so let's go yeah. ahead and just move on. And then they move back out, and then that's that. So, you know. Send them off. Yeah. But, um. On to the next one. On to the next one. So, mm-hmm. um. Who's our caller, by First the way. caller tonight, uh, there, Wells. So we have a couple. Oh, a couple. couple. I thought we were Um, doing. uh, They are. I guess not. All right. Okay. They're called. They are John and Carla. Okay. And they have a question that has to do with uh, having sex after giving birth. Okay. All right. Wow. All right. Well, uh, hello. You're talking live. uh, Talking sex live. I'm Chet. I'm Diane. And how are you tonight? Hi. Hi. Am I on? You are yes, on. on. Yes. Hello. We're talking sex Hi. live. Hi. 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 Uh, my name's Carla. And Hi, I'm Carla. Here. I'm here with my husband, John. I oh. just want to say uh, thanks for having us, Chet and Diane. This is a no real problem. Pleasure. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, we like talking to couples actually a lot. We do uh, a lot. I mean, it's, mm-hmm. it's, yeah, it, it really kind of. It levels the playing field, I guess. Sometimes Chet, uh, I mean, Diane and I feel like, Chet Chet myself, Mm -hmm. um, we feel like we kind of gang up on somebody if it's just one person because we're like firing facts back Mm -hmm. and forth. But now 
No, it's kind of like a, two's perspective, like a foursome almost, mm-hmm. but without the sex. So yeah. Well, well, I'll, you go because you're the one who thinks we have a problem. I don't think we have a problem. Oh right? no, I, no one has a problem. No. There's no real but problems with sex. It's just, communication. Mm-hmm. Here's what we need help with. Um, okay. So I I recently gave birth about six months ago. Oh, congratulations! Yes. Congratulations! congratulations. Yeah. Uh, now, my husband uh, was there with me in mm-hmm. the delivery room, and I. Mm-hmm. I asked him to stay near my head and you know hold my hand and, and keep eye contact and he wanted none of that. He watched mm-hmm. the entire oh, wow. life practically between my legs on top of the doctor's head. Wow. And uh, because of that, our sex life has changed. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Now my husband will only have sex with me if we can recreate the birth. Wow. Oh, okay. wow, I did not see that coming. Okay. Wow, all mm-hmm. right. So, I mean, but what's what's the problem? Are you not yeah, into what? that? Well, it's a lot of work. Oh, I mean, right. I have to wear a robe that opens up from the, the front mm-hmm. uh, and sometimes the back. I uh, I have to get an IV in my arm. Wow. I mean, oh, you go pull all out. All right. out. All out. That's great. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, so are you, are you more asking about what can make this easier or what can kind of simulate that mm-hmm. without... Plus. actually doing it i you know i i for me it's all about getting back into god's mouth i gotta tell you hmm. uh being, being there in the catching position ready uh, ready right. to see where where life begins and for some people ends i gotta tell you it was just it was just like the clouds parted and heaven opened up and it rained a lot of uh, various colors. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it, it, there, there, there was, and there, this child came out and she was screaming. Let me tell you, mm-hmm. this, this Carla is a vocal lady. I, she always has been. But man, she screamed for that child of mine uh, like uh, she's never screamed for me. And so I don't think I felt inadequate, but uh-huh. I, I, there's just some about the stirrups, the uh, the the waiting, the uh, the the placenta. There's just some about it all. The billing. I'm still getting bills uh-huh. every every couple of weeks, and I gotta tell you, I don't I don't even worry about my deductible. Uh, I'm like, send it to me. I mm-hmm. will pay for anesthesia time and time oh, again. That's very expensive. <laughs> Um, mm-hmm. so, so are you trying, so you're saying your question is you want to make your wife orgasm as loud as she did when she was giving birth? Is that your question? Well, I want her to also feel, uh, shame. I want her, uh, because she oh. might poop herself or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, a, that's thing. totally natural. And you're pushing out a baby poop comes right. out. That's just I what happens. Her- to, to still be like, get it, get out of there. What are you doing? They're mm-hmm. trained medical professionals. Why do you have scissors? No, no, no. Yeah. He also has, he also schedules our sex around when a handyman's going to come over because he likes people coming in on checking on us. Got just it. like the oh, he likes every, two hours. Mm-hmm. every two hours is what happened, and he likes that now. Okay. We'll have the owner come in, we'll have the electrician come in, mm-hmm. and while we're having sex because he's used to people coming in and watching us. Because one time I gave birth and he saw it all. Well, yeah. Yeah. No, it's, um, mm-hmm. Uh, here's here's a tip. Let me just say right, right. now, if you keep a bowl of candy in the room. Mm-hmm. You'll get some, you'll get the nurses in more often than that. So right. even with uh, the handyman around here, I like to mm-hmm. put out lemonade, mm-hmm. or I like to put out again uh, a, a, some gloves. Uh, just the door Amazon. is open, and he's mm-hmm. just inviting the Amazon guy to come in. Got it. Got right, it. Right. Um, so I mean, how how do you want us to help you out? Uh, yeah, what exactly? What, do you what can we do for you here? With? Well, that's a good question. I guess, <laughs> I guess a if you could recommend some medical grade stirrups. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, if you could just help Carla, just remember how beautiful of, of a moment it is that she should have to create every other day, uh, pretty much for the next eighteen years. Okay. So, uh, Carla, are are you are you not into this? Do you not want to be doing this, or does this also excite you? I think that sex between a man and a woman should just be that. Okay. I don't need I don't need costumes. Okay. I don't okay. need light. Uh, I don't need mm-hmm. an IV. I don't need I don't need any of that. And so I just feel like maybe if what I about, could be- what about a warming blanket at least or a bassinet, just something mm-hmm. just something to keep it warm and make sure it's okay. Maybe. So I, I- we're looking at. Um, 
sorry, um, Carla, you don't want to put on this whole production every single time you have sex. It feels like I'm acting. It feels like yeah. I'm acting. Yeah, it, and you know, we always like to say that there's there's no normal when it comes to sex. People mm -hmm. have kinks. We got to remove that whole normal from our vocabulary when it comes to our, our sexual um, perception and orientation. Uh, people get turned on by different things, and no matter how crazy it may seem to somebody, to to the person that gets turned on by it, it's it's not. It's that's their normal. So as long as it's safe, sane, safe and, consensual. and consensual. So the thing is, if Carla isn't wanting to put on this production every mm -hmm. single time, then that means it's not consensual. consensual. Mm -hmm. So what you guys should try and do is find like a middle ground. Um, either, I mean, I'm sorry, um, sir. What, like what was your name again, sir? Oh, John. 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 Sorry about that, John. So, John, if you um, if you want to find something that kind of lowers the activity a little bit, but still get turned on. Uh, I mean, John, do you feel that you do you can you get aroused at least by just normal yeah. missionary sex, or is that just completely out of the book? Is your is your oh, no, that's complete fine as long as, as long as there's scrubs involved? I, okay. I suppose. Oh well, you know, that's not too bad. Maybe you something. can wear some scrubs and. Uh -huh get funky then well, I mean, maybe i mean i guess i could i could i'm fine with talking like mm -hmm. what if i said like you know i'm dilated okay how much uh -huh. got it yeah um like, yeah a, a couple centimeters oh wow we're almost there okay okay we uh, get everybody in the room I need no, everybody in the no, room no, right so now. then you take it from zero to 100. All right. Yeah. yeah. So well, what you're looking at, those are a couple different right. fetishes all together. So that's called voyeurism, where you want somebody to come in and watch, watch you have you. sex. Mm -hmm. um, if and you can't get a lot of people, you can... Wait, that's more exhibitionism. Is it exhibitionism? Yeah. Wait, the voyeurism is where you where watch. Where you watch somebody. Exhibitionism, exhibitionism is where you want somebody, have somebody to watch, watch you. you. So you can yes. do... Um, uh, you can get on Pornhub if you want to go that route, mm -hmm. or you, what is it called? Uh, match only? No, only? Match only? No, it's not only. Uh, oh, Wells? there's threesome apps? No, yeah, there's threesome apps out mm -hmm. there. Um, Wells, what's, is it only, only something? I don't think we got Wells. Wells mm. is doing, Are oh. you thinking of, are you thinking of only fans? Only Here's fans. what I'm thinking. Yes, yeah. yes, I'm yes. For yes. Licensed obstetrician. I'm looking for an anesthesiologist, uh, and then ultimately I'm looking for a dietitian and somebody who might be able to do an episiotomy. Okay, so all of the episiotomies are very bad, actually. But, yeah, yeah, um, but I think might. Worst, yeah. case, worst case. But I didn't need one though. Why do I need one now? You yeah. don't, but it's just in yeah. case it's tension. So that's the whole the whole thing with uh, kinks is safe, sane, and consensual. Mm -hmm. So first of all, if if Carla doesn't want an episiotomy every time you have sex, and that would be devastating on your vagina, um, very and devastating, your <laughs> and your butthole, mm -hmm. um, then she, you definitely should not push her to have an episiotomy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also not safe. It's very those. It takes a long time for episiotomies to heal. Also, yeah. in the rate of infection, plus anesthesiologists also. Uh, not exactly the safest thing in the world. Also, very expensive. Um, mm -hmm. You also got to think. I did, I did like that though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the epidural. That was oh, that wow. was that was my favorite part about giving birth. So, I'm okay if we had that happen. So, how about, how, yeah. how pleasurable is that for you? If you were to have an epidural, you wouldn't be able to feel your vagina. Mm -hmm. It would be oh, completely. I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. When you have an epidural, oh, your whole body is just floating. Oh. Nothing. Can this is why I need the team. Got it. Got it. Um, I mean, whatever floats your boat, you just got to make sure that's safe, sane, and yeah. consensual. So if you, if you really, John, you got to be listening to what Carla wants there with... Um, so you might just be able to just do the scrubs. Uh, there are some dilation kits, uh, some Kegel kits that will make the oh. uh, vaginal opening bigger. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to go ahead and insert those before you go in. Um, if things are lubed up correctly, you can fist. Um, I, fist? I, fisting? Yeah. Fisting? Well, I, I don't want to touch the baby. Well, okay, so you want to pretend there's still a after. baby in there. Um, or there's yeah. the whole possibility of just having another child. I mean, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Oh, ah, we didn't think of that. We could just get pregnant again, and then 
a little play buddy. Right. Yeah, just but I mean, right. you do have to have you know intercourse where you mm-hmm. where well, you ejaculate inside of her. I'm okay with a little bit of role play. Like I guess we could just play doctor. And yeah. I'm okay with the midwife in the room. Got it. Well, mm-hmm. um, to try the uh, the OnlyFans app um, just to have people actually pay to watch you, mm-hmm. and then it you can put them up on your screen. And tell them only you can only watch if you are dressed up in doctor's uh, attire, scrubs, or oh, wait, lab coat. Does that sound a good idea? Yeah, you're there. Oh, that sounds like a great that idea. That's great. I feel like that's we could make some money while we do this. Yeah, you can make mm-hmm. money while you're doing it if you're comfortable with showing yourself sexually uh, online. Um, also. Also, I would really like, and again, this isn't a deal breaker, but just some sort of like lightly warm. Uh, Open face turkey sandwich from a cafeteria. Of course, right okay, when she's right. done, just have so she could eat it because all she's doing is chewing on uh, ice chips while you're doing it. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. What you're talking about. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, does that does that feel like we we are moving in the right direction here? I I, I think so. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, the thing is, is like if people are gonna watch us instead of the Amazon guy, I'd rather it be some guy giving us ten bucks. That's right, and you can make a lot of money. There's actually mm-hmm. there was the first millionaire. Uh, from OnlyFans accounts there, so. Well, that was very controversial. Oh, was it? I'm sorry. I, I'm not a. We don't. We're not on the OnlyFans. I, I keep on telling that Chet and, uh, to Diane here that we should. Chet, what do you call Well, me I want to confirm Chet and Diane okay. that we should be on Pornhub uh, yes. doing this, yes. but. Um, a little raunchy. Yeah, a little me. raunchy for for Diane. Hey, there, thank so. you so much. I just want to say thank you for having us mm-hmm. and. Uh, it feels good to talk to someone about it. I yeah. just needed mm-hmm. to voice. I needed to hear my thoughts and, and to share it with someone and, and to know that my husband is not a complete freak. Like, he just has his kink, and I feel like right. we could just communicate. And, and, like, we'll start slow with some baby stuff. <laughs> okay, hold on. He's talking my language now. There you go. Also, Throw I have baby a bag to drive to the hospital at any time. There you go. Well, I hope you guys have... Uh, uh, stay sex positive and mm-hmm. have some great sex, uh, hopefully tonight. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you very much for calling in. Really appreciate it. And it's good to chat with another couple during quarantine. So, mm-hmm. all, right. Hey, guys. all around. There you go. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Hey, thanks, Wells. I could not remember mm-hmm. OnlyFans. I don't know. It's, just, it's a weird kind of website to be, um, well, yeah, uh, you can make money going. But it's so not just for so. sexual well, stuff. Yeah. No. There can be other things, right? Mm-mm. Do you have an OnlyFans account there, Wells? Well, it's Wells? mostly for nudes. Yeah. Is it mostly for nudes? I do not have an OnlyFans yeah. account. But there was a controversy um, the past couple weeks with OnlyFans. There was a Disney star named Bella Thorne who opened an account there. And she put out, you can do pay-per-view images. Um, for a certain amount of money, and she put out one that she said was nude for two hundred dollars, and she wasn't naked. Oh yeah. So That's then you right. had thousands of people asking for refunds, and that caused OnlyFans to actually change their policy so that the most you could charge was fifty dollars, mm. and oh. so that screwed a whole ton of sex workers out of out of a lot of money. Wow. Yeah. I, I, did I mean, not if I was that. paying two hundred dollars, I'd want to see some boobs. Yeah, definitely some boobs. I mean, it's in the age of the internet where you can like you you don't even have to type in boobs. I don't know. It's just it's so easy to see yeah. nudity online now. It's mm-hmm. just like you can get it on your phone. It, I don't know why anybody would actually pay to see porn. I, I it just it boggles my mind. Yeah. So, but maybe we're just I, spoiled. I don't know. We are spoiled. We're very I guess spoiled. you would just. You would really have to want to see that one particular person. I guess yeah. so. I mean, maybe if Hugh Jackman you... was naked, I'd pay some money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to see him, you know, hard and no. Um, I'm sorry, baby. No, it's all right. I, I'm, I'm no Hugh Jackman. I mean, the guy's <laughs> fifty, but you know, he still looks I, good. Yeah, though. he still looks good. Um, I, I mean, sure. Same thing for me with. Um, Scarlett Johansson, Scarlett but I do Johansson. her as well. Yeah, we would. I mean, I'm bisexual. A threesome with. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm spoiled because I I feel that Diane has world. Diane has a perfect body, and whenever I see porn, I like I'm just women. like Diane's body's better than this girl. So why am I even bothering? But that's a whole other story. Um, so when we watch the the Grinch porn, mm-hmm. uh, when we watch the Grinch porn, you were like. 
Diane has a better body oh, than totally. uh, Cindy okay. Lou Who. Oh yeah. Well, also it was okay. Cindy Lou Who trying to be. It was it, obviously she was over eighteen, but she was yeah. playing like a four year old, so it just seemed incredibly wrong. Mm-mm. But anyways, that is Pornhub for. I don't me. think she was playing. You don't think she was playing? Oh, she's... on that note, we have. Uh... <laughs> We just segue. Yeah, we segue. For, uh, you can't segue from Grinch porn to the next caller, but okay, she, go for it, Wells. Let's go. She was not. She was not. She was not playing a minor. But okay. anyway, this <laughs> is uh, Jerry, and oh. uh, okay. Jerry's girlfriend enjoys having sex in different places. Oh. oh okay. All right. All right. Uh, hello, you're chatting Hi, Jerry. live with Chet and Diane Hart. And how can we help you there, Jerry? Oh, hey, Chet, Diane, uh, thanks for having me. Listen, I, you know, as I was telling producer uh, Wells, you know, I'm just a nice Midwest guy. Mm-hmm. You know, I live up in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. You know, my life Ooh. is, I'll be honest with you, I, I, I think I'm a pretty just uh, level-headed kind of guy. And, uh, you know, it's not so much about the sex. And listen, I, 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 I've, been, I've been listening to the show for a while, and I know how you all say that everyone's got their kinks and mm-hmm. it needs to be safe and it should be sane and mm-hmm. consensual. And mm-hmm. again, mm-hmm. it's not so much about the sex that my girlfriend, you know, is into. It's, it's just it's where she wants to have the sex. Listen, we have plenty of sex and it's no problem, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. It's, listen, I met her, I met her, have you, have you ever been to the Summerfest up in Milwaukee? No. No. No, never been to Milwaukee. Uh, one of these days we'll, well go. We'll but... go. Oh, you should totally go up there. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Uh, so, I, I, listen, I went to the big city, you know, from Oshkosh, and I met this girl, and, okay. you know, and Kelly and I have been together now for a few years, uh, and I just thought it was a fluke uh, after we met there, after the concerts, that she wanted to go uh, to the cemetery, and, you know, oh. we, 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 we got busy in a cemetery, and I just thought it was a fluke, but... Now it's kind of turned into a thing, and that's, mm-hmm. I feel a little uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I understand, again, that people have their kinks, and that's what turns her on, and I just feel kind of like a jerk because I'm just, I'm weirded out with the ghosts and stuff, you know, and right. I, I don't want to trespass, but that's what she's into. So, so is it always the cemetery yeah. that she wants to have intercourse with, or is it other places yeah, like yeah. hiking or? I, you know, uh, about 95% of the time it's, it's, uh, it's normally some sort of uh, crematorium or oh, like okay, a, so a cemetery, with you know, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One Morris. time she asked me if I would break into the National Cemetery and go in there because, you know, it's uh, there's this... a lot of there's a lot of people there. And I, I, it, listen, it, it just more... made me feel uncomfortable. It, it... Hmm. Is this more when people are at the cemetery or when it is deserted? Completely empty, like nighttime. Because that's a big difference. Yeah. You, you know, she has asked me. Be, she has asked me before if I would go in there and, uh, you know, a few minutes before closing, just in case they were finishing up a service. But for the most part, she likes to go inside the ones at night, you know, that are all kind of open, you know, uh, small town ones and whatnot. And it just, ah, it just gives me the willies. You know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. right. Um, and I just, I'll, I'll be honest, Chet, Diane, I, I, I don't know how I should really approach it to her. Cause listen, I like her a lot and uh-huh. uh, you know, she, she comes from a rich family, but that's a whole nother story. Yeah, I just not feel that. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. I, I, I'm not trying to put the bad jujus out there, you know? It's all right. 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 So let's, we got to get down to uh, the brass tacks here. Mm-hmm. So do you see yourself not being able to continue to be with her if she wants to? Is this the only way that she can, can get off? Like, are you not willing to compromise? Or is she not willing to meet in the middle? I, mm-hmm. I mean, what's. Have you like, thought about watching like a horror movie to get her off yeah. during sex? Well, she does enjoy that uh, the scary, you know, the thrillers. Uh, mm-hmm. that, that that that's a good possibility. But you know, I I'd like to have kids sometime, and mm-hmm. you know, uh, I I'm at, I just think you know a little bit in the future, and imagine maybe a couple of years down the line, and you know, we got two kids, and all of a sudden, mom and dad get arrested for trespass and fucking right. inside of a cemetery. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Um, well, you could do a few things here. If you're if if you're kind of uncomfortable with like breaking and entering, going into the cemetery, see, talk with her. Of course, it's always better just to be honest with somebody. Mm-hmm. Uh, an idea comes to mind of actually like making a fake cemetery in your backyard. Uh, maybe not dead bodies, but there's a lot of Halloween stuff you can buy. Yeah, or if 
there's an area in your backyard where there's some dead pets or just I mean it sounds Real awful. Pets? Yeah, uh, like to to bury them, you know. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, like or if like hey, Chet. Yeah. Y- you know, listen, uh... Here, I should also mention that, uh, you know, she's really into that genealogy stuff. So, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes she's like, hey, let's go fuck by, uh, you know, John Wilson, who passed away in 1815, mm-hmm. you know, and she'll know the history of the guy. Well, you maybe know, you while can we're put right up a, a fake Benjamin Franklin tombstone yeah. in your backyard and fuck on that. I mean, maybe that's not going to do it for her. No. Uh, I mean, obviously, if this is something that you are not into... Mm-hmm. This is the whole safe saying consensual. This is okay. not consensual. You're not, you're not getting off in it. You don't feel comfortable doing mm-hmm. it. So I mean, uh, sex is a two way road. It's a communication between two people, and it can't just be a one way communication. No. It's that both people interacting, and and both of you need to be getting pleasure from this, to have it be truly enjoyable and romantic. Um, but it, so if you're not getting anything from this, you just need to talk to her about this, and hopefully you can meet someplace in the middle. Um, like Diane said, with the whole horror movies, uh, you can try something reenacting uh, cemeteries. Um, mm-hmm. uh, you could maybe put big do... spider webs in your bedroom yeah. to make it more erotic. Or if maybe just go to a field and have sex and. Mm-hmm pretend there was an Indian burial ground at some point, or maybe even look up where a supposed Indian burial ground is and just go there. Something like that. Um, if you, you want know, to continue with the I, I get it, guys. I, I totally get it. I just, you know, I really love Kelly. She's a great gal, mm-hmm. and I, I I don't want to lose her. You know, it. that being said, I was talking mm-hmm. about the, uh, you know, you, rem- Chet, you, you brought up a good point, you know, because we're from the Midwest and there was a lot of the Native American burial grounds yeah. around there. One right. time she she asked me if I would take her to one and she ended up getting one of those arrowheads in her back. But Ooh. anyways, I, you know, I appreciate that. I, I I think you're right. I need to just talk to her and, yeah. and tell her how I feel and maybe mm-hmm. come up with a compromise. Well, I mean, if you've never mentioned this to her, maybe it will because uh, uh, maybe it will turn her off like. If yeah. I, when I talk to Diane about stuff, if something that I do that she's not into, mm-hmm. as soon as she tells me, hey, that doesn't turn me on, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't want to do it anymore. I, I, As a lover, I want to please her, and pleasing her makes me turned on. So if, if you tell her, hey, having sex in a cemetery doesn't do it for me, I am not aroused by this, it makes me... F- feel uncomfortable maybe it won't be as big of a turn on or and if you were to mention something else like hey um, i'm willing to meet you halfway uh i've did some research there's some great indian burial grounds around here that's not like a you know a misdemeanor if we were to go and have sex out there uh, and just produce like uh, introduce that to her and maybe sh- that'll you'll, you'll be a saint you'll be like her mm-hmm. hero for doing something like that that's a good point. I, listen, she does know the basic part. You know, she knows that I feel a little uncomfortable. And, mm. you know, okay. sometimes I can barely even get a chub because I'm so, you oh, know, okay. looking outside the car. Mm, yeah, no, it's it's mm-hmm. if it's not for uh, everyone, the whole. But I do it for her. Mm-hmm. I do it for her. You know what I mean, right, you Chet? It. You got to do it for her. You do. You got to make mm-hmm. your, your, your spouse or partner comfortable, you know, happy spouse. Ha- happy wife's a happy life. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what I like to say. That's so. right. Uh, well, I'll, I'll report back and and I'll let you guys know good. how it goes because and and I appreciate all that you guys do. I really do. Oh, it's, thank you. It, it really is of benefit. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Well, hopefully you got um, some a good amount of uh, of ideas there to present to your lovely wife there. Um, girlfriend. Girlfriend. Sorry about that. Um, and yeah, then, she's hoping. She's, she's hoping. hoping. Well, yeah. maybe you can propose to her at a cemetery or an Indian burial, or Indian burial, burial ground, ground, something like that. That that'll really do it for her. So. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jerry. I hope you have a good night. Uh, stay sex positive, there, my friend, and uh, have uh, fun fun relations. Mm-hmm. Uh, stay safe, buddy. Thank Bye. you very much. You take care. Bye bye now. Bye. bye. See ya. Yeah. Oh man, I've never thought about having sex in a cemetery. No. Yeah. I mean, I've liked going to cemeteries. Yeah, they're, it's quiet. The history and some, they're beautiful. Or um, just when you're depressed, I just sometimes go there. Yeah. 
uh, but actually bone it on someone's no, not grave into that. seems kind of sacrilegious. Yeah. Seems I mean, like we've the done theme it in... Of the night. What was that? What was that? It seems like the theme of the night so far is uh, partners a... doing things that make their partner uncomfortable. Yeah, oh, yeah. that is yeah. the theme. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is the whole thing. Mm-hmm. We've, we've, we've had a very non-consensual night. Yeah, right, well... Right. Maybe our next person's not going to be like that. Maybe the person will be. Who knows? Uh, mm-hmm. d- uh, do you have somebody up on their uh, the reader board there? Yeah, we have uh, we have Bryce. Uh, Bryce can't get sexually excited unless he's in a cold environment. Oh, okay. Bryce oh. and his wife live in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, I guess this is kind of the same vein, but that's Similar the theme for the night. It's, it you know, marketing and producing it together. So I go ahead and patch uh, Bryce through there, Wells. Um, hello, you're talking sex live with Chet. And Diane. Hey, it's Bryce. Hey, Bryce. Hello. Bryce. Hey, how you Guys, doing? can you hear me okay? Oh, yeah, yeah I hear you great. Fine. That sounds wonderful. Hey, hey. Hi. Yeah, how are you doing tonight, Bryce? Well, doing okay. It's it, it, it's hot here. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. It is hot. It is well. It's so. 110, 112 mm-hmm. here yeah. in uh, North Hollywood. Where? How how hot is it for you out there? Well, in well I'm in Phoenix. Me, yeah. me and the me and the lady are out in Phoenix, and it was in the triple digits today. Okay. <laughs> I don't do well in that. Oh yeah. mm-hmm. man, that is hot. Too hot. Bro. Hot, hot, hot. So I heard you oh, yeah. have uh, what the experts like to call. Uh, uh, psychorophilia. Mm-hmm. It is uh, being aroused to cold temperatures or seeing somebody in cold temperatures. Is that correct? Y- yes, I actually, that is correct. I'm uh, I'm a psychrophilia. Yep, psychrophilic. And uh, yeah. it, 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 it does not actually bode well for me here in no. Phoenix. And so, so I'm actually tr- trying to get you know, the old lady to go somewhere, I think it's a little bit more comfortable. I think mm-hmm. Grand Forks, North Dakota, maybe yeah. Omaha. It gets, mm-hmm. gets Alaska, nice and cold there. New Brunswick. Alaska, exactly. You know Northern what I'm talking about. Yeah, Yukon. Uh, um, oh, yeah. So uh, what made you guys move to Phoenix? Like, why, why are What's you in question, Phoenix? Oh, I, yeah. Well, if that, let's look well, right, you know, a little well, bit about that. Yeah. Well, she, yeah, she, you know, she wanted to be near the family, but... Okay. Mm-hmm. We, no, oh, here's the thing. So I, I, I've got this situation. I haven't really told a lot of people, but I want to tell you. Mm-hmm. So you see, when, when, I was, when I was a kid, um, my first sexual experience was with this girl. And, you know, she, she masturbated me off with, okay. with, two, with two bags of frozen peas. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. wow. Now, 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 since then, whenever I see anything, anything cold, I'm talking about bags of ice, mm-hmm. uh, cartons of ice cream, a popsicle even, I get, I get very excited. Yeah, no, right, well, that's, right. that's uh, my, my wife and I, we actually, you guys ever hear those, those hotels that are made of ice? Oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's, uh, they're in we, the Scandinavia. Mm-hmm. Um, the, yeah, yeah. They got one in Canada, too. We were mm-hmm. there for, for a weekend, and I got to tell you, I was... <laughs> I was harder than those ice walls all weekend long. Okay. I'm talking about Bryce nice on ice. <laughs> that is great. Um, so, but yeah. what are, is your question more in line of how do you get your wife to move? Or yeah, yeah no, here's exactly. the problem. It's just you know, Pam. So that's the wife, Pam. 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 She she hates the cold. I mean, she she hates oh. the cold. She loves it mm. in Phoenix. And so now, well, mm-hmm. at night, she she keeps the temperature really really hot. I'm Ooh. talking about oh. like 65 degrees in the house <laughs> and so it's now a, now it's my manhood just my manhood's as flaccid yeah. as a bowl of, of melted ice cream okay. i can't right. i can't do it but oh, you know yeah so okay, the problem you... is we're i guess my question is we're just not connecting yeah. temperatureistically yeah. she doesn't want to move basically mm-hmm. have you considered she doesn't want to move and mm-hmm. she, and i can't have sex with her unless it's unless it's really cold, really cold. but well, she you... can't have sex with mm-hmm. me when it is very cold she yeah. hates it uh-huh oh. Uh, go ahead. It's really affecting our marriage. Have you considered buying a walk-in freezer, perhaps? Yeah, you can make a walk-in freezer. Or you can make one even in uh, your garage. Yeah. Um, well, is, now she now she she, she doesn't it's, like it's cold, hard though. for her sometimes to, to have orgasm. sex it. when it's so cold. Right. I tried everything. I had like huh. a bowl of ice and a fan, and I had mm-hmm. that blowing in the bedroom, mm-hmm. and it just didn't work for her. I was listening to one of your other callers, and mm-hmm. what you, if what if I gave my wife an epidural and she just oh, didn't no, no, feel don't it? Do that, sweetie. Don't yeah, do that. that have have you very, just give her an epidural. It's very expensive. Have you experimented with ice play? Maybe. Yeah, just have her just oh. put ice 
on your penis or mm-hmm. just or your body. anything that's cold. Just ice cubes you can play with. Yeah. You can hmm. rub an ice cube around her clitoris. Yeah. Or she doesn't like cold. She, she, she won't like that, but right. maybe she old Pammy like can, can rub me mm. down with some ice cubes. There you she go. could do that. Yeah, so um, there's that. If you want to go more about like the walk-in freezer route there are some body suits that are super warm that mm-hmm. you can get her and i'm sure a good tailor uh would modify it so that you could just have access to her vagina uh just have some type of like zipper between her legs that goes all the way around mm. and you can get down there mm. um that would be my suggestion also i i do like the different cold items that she can put on you maybe it mm-hmm. would just be something like completely erotic pack? yeah just put ice packs all over your body or just frozen mm. peas you know having sex yeah she could rub you down with frozen peas with food would... is it's whole is a whole nother fetish mm-hmm. and that might be something that you're into since of the whole childhood with the frozen peas mm-hmm. uh was your uh, it, a lot of fetishes are are sparked Rooted in childhood yeah in in your childhood memories and sometimes mm. people don't even know and it um, yeah. manifests itself yeah. in sexual pleasure yeah i, th- so. I think pa- you know old pammy's birthday is coming up i think i can get her one of those little those little warm suits with the zipper i like yeah. that yeah mm-hmm. I, I mean it'd be definitely be more expensive than going the route of just laying in bed with a ton of um ice packs well, I'd be great with that. <laughs> yeah, no, that, I mean, you could try them both. Yeah, Just experiment, be have a little fun. Super cold. Um, I, I commend you for your dedication. I mean, mm-hmm. 65 degrees in, in Phoenix, that must be a quite a hefty... Um, Building. Oh, that's yeah. hot. Oh, that's that's hot. I like I like the room to be a, a nice brisk 37 38 degrees. Wow. That's that's where Ooh, I that's my zone me. right there. Wow. Too okay. Yeah, that's uh we keep our house at 78 and uh, I get cold feet. Yeah, I get I mean, I have solar panels on our house here and it's mm-hmm. it's still <laughs> it's a I don't think each his own. Yeah. That yeah. is true. But um yeah, I, I I think that's all our our advice. Hopefully, mm-hmm. that is good enough for you. Is that does that? Oh, sound Pammy, good? Pammy's gonna get a really nice birthday gift this year. Good, mm. excellent. Well, a little hot suit. Yeah, hot suit, some ice. And a, yeah, uh, hot suit, a cold ding dong. Oh yeah, cold ding there dong. Go. Well, good luck to you, my friend. Um, and please stay sex positive and safe out there. Uh, and, and, and tune in again watch and call in again we always appreciate uh, call people to call back and tell us how they're doing So, mm-hmm. um, oh I'll tell you thanks Chet thanks no, Diane no problem no alright well have a good night there Bryce um, have a good one So, oh, you, we, you guys stay cool yes you too um, Wells um, are you a cold guy or a hot guy I, my body usually runs cold so mm-hmm. I usually yeah. prefer the heat myself. Mm. Uh, really? I think That's... I would have a hard time maintaining an erection at 38 degrees. Mm. Yeah, I uh, run cold too. He hot. runs hot. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying out. All the men have dated are hot. I wouldn't mind having going to one of those ice hotels and having sex in there. That seems um, incredibly mm-hmm. uh, hot. I, I just, I just trying it out. I have, we haven't done it yet. He's so down to try anything. Yeah, I, I run really hot, and so, um, mm-hmm. but yeah. Um, well, I feel like we well, had maybe, a uh, go maybe Diane. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, maybe you were Diane. Saying something. I was just gonna say maybe Diane could like try to take two packets of frozen peas and yeah, masturbate you with it. me off. Yeah, that's we can try that, that later sounds later. hot. I mean, I mean, mm-hmm. because so dang hot outside. I mean, your dick might get shrink a little bit. I don't know. I think I could the withstand cold, it. You know, I think I gets... could withstand it. So. Yeah. All right, well, I think that is a good uh, place to end it there. Uh, thank you for everyone who called in. Uh, thank you very much, Wells. Good luck with dating on your dating apps, my friend. Got it. Um, I'm sure it'll be a dumpster fire. Oh, it's okay. Well, uh, stay sex positive, everybody, mm-hmm. and tune in again next two weeks. We'll have another show with more live callers. So, good night and good night. stay sex positive. <laughs>